Hi there. In this video, uh, I'm going to do a quick review of the Extraputic 400XL folding recumbent bike so you can learn the benefits and the drawbacks of this product and make a better buying decision for yourself. I'll also show you where you can get a great deal on it with fast shipping. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice about the 400XL is that the build quality is actually pretty good for the price that you're paying for it. Um, overall, it looks really well built, but a couple of thing, couple of the things look a little bit cheap, such as the way that um, you can you can see the wires exposed outside of the bike. Um, but that's designed more for functional purposes, anyways. Um, when the bike arrived, the package was undamaged, and uh, the assembly took about thirty minutes or so. And that was at a pretty medium pace, you know, nothing too intense, not trying to work too hard or fast and easily completed by just one person. The instructions uh, were simple to follow and you've got the tools that you need to to do the assembly. Um, although if you have your own tools, that might be more helpful if you're used to using them, of course. Now, the main thing that is really nice about this bike is the fact that it's extremely quiet, even at the high speeds or on the highest resistance setting if you do it. Um, even at the highest resistance setting, it only makes like a soft little noise, um, which is which which allows for distraction free, you know, TV watching or listening or reading, or if somebody else is in the room with you. It's an extremely stable by uh, stable product, as I mentioned about the build quality as well. Um, however, if you have it on a soft surface or on a padded surface, it might wiggle just a little bit, but overall it's really stable. The resistance of the bike can be set manually so that that operation is not computer computerized, which is cool because you don't have to rely on computer functions for the resistance. The pedal cranks uh, where you place your feet are about six inches, which is actually a little bit shorter than what other uh, full exercise bikes have. So if you have really big feet, um, this may feel a little bit different from using other exercise bikes. You may feel that it's uh, that it's uh, that it's smaller, but all in all, uh, it's pretty easy to get used to. And if you have normal size feet or smaller, um, it doesn't really impact your performance or the use of this product at all. The nice thing about the resistance is that uh, level one to one to three gives you a nice nice workout, and you could do you know long duration cardio at those resistance settings while still working up a burn, uh, which is cool. So um, the the bike definitely has the ability to um, do like long duration workouts or very very resistance oriented workouts depending on what you want to do. When it comes to folding and unfolding or putting the bike away, it's really easy. There's basically two safety pins which secure the bike. And um, since the bike is smaller overall, um, it's easy to store. It doesn't take up a lot of room and you can move it away. Um, but it does seem to be a little bit wider than what you would expect um, in terms of its length. So the length is small. Uh, fairly small, but then it's a little bit wider than you would expect given the overall size of the bike. And that's probably done to keep it nice and stable and sturdy while you're on it. All right, the pulse monitor on this thing seems to give an okay reading, although I wouldn't really rely on it for a high degree of accuracy, of course. And you've got to have both hands on it. You've got to grip it nicely for it to even give you a reading. So, um, you know, that's one thing you've, you've got to note is that you've got to grip it nicely and make sure that your hands aren't too dry. And um, on top of all of that, it gives you a reading that, as I said, I wouldn't 100% rely on. As far as the comfort of the bike, um, it's it's actually fairly comfortable, although depending on your size, you may find that the front edge of the seat may irritate your thighs a bit, but you know, this isn't really a problem because you can easily remedy this by just putting like a gel cover or any type of cover over the seat. And um, it, it all depends on really what your size is. 
but overall it's a fairly comfortable uh, piece of equipment to sit on. And just keep in mind that it's not a fully recumbent bike, meaning that it doesn't recline back like most recumbent bikes you're used to. Um, it's it's sort of like an upright um, style bike with uh, a little bit of a of a slope that still makes it fairly comfortable overall. All right, so that's basically my thoughts um, about this product that I wanted to share with you. Now, if you're looking to get yourself a great deal on the Exerputic 400XL and also get fast shipping along with that, then go ahead and click the link in the description box underneath this video and you'll be able to get yourself a great deal on this recumbent bike. And you can even qualify for fast shipping by clicking the link in the description box below. Hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Hi there, in this video, uh, I'm gonna do a quick review of the Exerputic 400XL folding recumbent bike so you can learn the benefits and the drawbacks of this product and make a better buying decision for yourself. I'll also show you where you can get a great deal on it with fast shipping. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice about the 400XL is that the build quality is actually pretty good for the price that you're paying for it. Um, overall, it looks really well built, but a couple of thing, couple of the things look a little bit cheap, such as the way that um, you can you can see the wires exposed outside.